Good morning, guys. Oh wait, no, I'm down here today. Today, we're gonna get down and dirty. This morning, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a long time. I am going to, hi, I, right here. I am going to hand scrub these floors. Money does a great job keeping them clean and really just tidy, I would say. But this guy here, I deep scrub them. And I do it a certain way that guarantees that they are clean. And if you saw last night's mess, the video that'll be right here, um, you'll know why I need to clean the floor. We spilled a bowl of chili and it just opened my eyes to how dirty the rest of the floor was once I cleaned up the bowl of chili. So we're gonna clean the floors, Joel style. Before you mop any floor though, you need to make sure it's swept perfectly clean. And I even like to hit the floorboards to make sure there's nothing left on top of those either. Although I'm going to be mopping this floor Joel style, I will sweep it Bonnie style, which means you be very careful by the cabinets not to bump this against this because that will nick your cabinets. And if you've got white cabinets, you know, once they chip, it's visible for life. So you always push the bristles against everything, not the broom itself. Stick those bristles all the way underneath that. Look at that, oh my God. Look at that big old thing. Look at that stuff I just kicked at. Now that is not a lot of debris, but it's stuff that I don't want to pick up on my mopping rags while I'm mopping. It just takes up space, it's stuff that'll just drag around the whole time. You may as well clean up everything loosely that you can that a damp cloth won't. The only tools you're going to need are a white rag, and I recommend it being white, but obviously you don't want to use the nicest white rag, find a dingy old one, but you want white for a reason. And water, that's all I use. First soak your rag and then wring it out so it's just nice and damp. Now I'm going to be dampening and rinsing this rag repeatedly at the sink so I need to be able to get to the sink and not walk over everything that I've just mopped. So I'm going to work this way, this area, down the hallway, and then to the sink which will be my final area that I'll mop. But by then um, everything will be clean and dry and I won't be stepping over multiple times. A lot of people are going to be asking how will you get the floors clean if you're not using any chemical? Water will work just fine. The key is using your bare hand and keeping the rag flat. I'm going to feel for any dirt. You'll obviously take off the top layer of dirt, which is simple, just by wipe, a couple wipes. But it's those pieces that you'll feel that you'll be like, oh, that's like candy that's been stuck there for months that you'll feel with your hand and you wouldn't feel them with a mop. So that's why I prefer to do it by hand. Already, there's a little spot. Never pick at it. If you pick at it, there's a chance you can pull the varnish or finish. Just rub at it a little bit. Let the water of your rag absorb into it, and I promise you, it'll come up. I learned that the hard way. Don't ask Bonnie. We don't talk about that. Now, we're not gonna cover a lot of area on one rag rinse, because at that point, we're holding on to too much dirt in the rag. I'm not seeing a ton stick out yet, but as we go, I'll see more and more and more, which tells me that the rag is loading up with dirt each time I mop a little bit more. So I like to just do smaller areas, then go rinse and repeat. This rag was white when I started, and now you can already see just in that small two little areas, how much dirt I'm pulling up. That's dirt that gets left on every time we mop. See all these little pieces that I'm stopping? That's just extra debris that I'm just feeling. It's most likely candy. It's most likely from Lincoln. But that would never come up if I didn't do it this way. I would never even know it's there because it's just so subtle. And maybe it's more effort than it's worth, but I absolutely do not think so. Yeah, time to rinse again. Candy next to Lincoln's room. That's crazy. By hand, I feel all of those little, little imperfections. I also feel all of the imperfections from stuff we've dropped on this floor and nicked it. And that brings me just a little bit of anxiety. But at the end of the day, that's 
that's what they're for. They're to be used, you can't protect everything completely. I can feel a complete difference from the first year we had these floors till now of mopping and all the different like, imperfections that are permanent. Excuse me, Mrs. Holleen. I'm filming a video right now. <laughs> you're interrupting. Oh my gosh, you're cleaning my floors! Yeah, and you're interrupting this tutorial. Okay, I'll move. Get out! Oh my gosh, I just went to the salon. Oh, it's not on manual focus. I just went to the salon, got my nails painted for Christmas. Guess I'll just stand over here, <laughs> scrub something. Okay, resume. This being the work area, there's going to be a lot of stuff on the floor that you can't see, but you will feel it. And I already have felt a bunch that you just have to go over it and over and over until you feel it smooth again. <laughs> Remember, don't pick at it. I had to teach Bonnie that, and that was a real hard lesson for her to learn, was to not pick at stuff on. I'm Are you kidding. joking me? <gasps> We're going to interrupt this broadcast. We're going to rip this camera right off of the... Uh tripod you've got sitting there and I'm going to tell you why Joel just said that. We remodeled our bathroom and there was a smudge on the wood that we had stained. Oh, <laughs> well now there's a lot of them, but that's a whole other story. The person that we hired to stain these used a stain that wasn't meant for bathrooms and he even said that it was a bad lacquer. Anyway, but see this mark right here, right here? There was something on here and Joel goes, and peeled it off with his finger and everything, everything he touches, he like digs with his nail. I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't use your nail, you use a washcloth. Otherwise. No, nope, that's the lesson I was teaching everybody. Yeah. Showing your flaws. Why is she? We're mopping the floor, son. We're oh, cute right outfit. <laughs> Handsome. Since you're already down here already, mopping the floor, it's a good time to hit these kick plates, the bottom of the cabinets, everything. It's already down here. SpongeBob SquarePants has nothing to do with this tutorial, Lincoln. In a movie. I feel like this thing's going off the rails real quick. Either way, take advantage of being down here because these are dirty. But you don't see it. But that dirt stays long enough, it just gets worse and worse. I remember it. The current residue that I'm wiping off is leftover from last night's chili spill. That was fun. All right, now I'm just winding down and finishing the last little bit. See, I mopped this last night and I can already feel stuff again. That's just how dirty floors get. But now we're just working our way into the kitchen, into the sink, where I can be all the way finished, getting all these kick plates as we go. We're done. Now that's great. And they feel good. Let this dry for just a minute and then walk on it. It'll actually feel slipperier, which is crazy. We started with a white rag and now it's like dingy dirty brown even though it's been rinsed a bunch of times. That just shows you how much dirt is really on your floors that you don't know about because these were relatively clean floors not from too long ago and we're still pulling up a lot of dirt. So I honestly recommend once a year at least getting down on all four and cleaning your floors. I can feel the debris with my hand better than I can just mopping it around. It'll look clean but it won't actually be clean. And I don't know, this just gives me a lot of satisfaction. I feel good that it's that clean. And now we're ready, I think, for the holidays. And we'll probably do it again after the holidays. So anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.